From Viking halls to the cities of the future, Terrain buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastsofwar.com. Anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on beastsofwar.com. Hi guys, welcome to What's in the Box. Today we're having a look at another Volsung set. Mm -hmm. So, this is one of the starter sets. This is the Triad of the Lotus Dragon. Yeah, highly, highly awesome looking. Yeah, these are orcs. Really? Oriental orcs. I know it seems like an odd one. They don't uh, look like orcs. You'll see in a minute. In <laughs> okay. the artwork, they really do look like orcs. Yeah. You know. But the, the whole concept with these guys is they have came across from the mysterious east of the world of Volsung. They have arrived in Lioness and they have now become sort of fishermen and traders in the local Dockland area, mm -hmm. right? And they're really, really cool. So yeah. I'm going to grab one to start with. Mm -hmm. uh, also, where did the stack cards? Oh, there they are. You just sat in there. Yeah, so I'll have to open this up first because the stack cards in Volsung are very important for all your stuff. So. We have, do it, do it, do it, this, this, and this. Okay, so this starter set is a little bit different from the others because you are getting a lot of smaller guys in it. All right. But uh, to begin with, we have one of our characters here, Mr. Chang. So he's got 10 damage, some really nice abilities, two actions, move of five. Everybody in this faction is reasonably quick. He's not incredible at fighting, he's not got a great strength, not got a great guns, and a reasonably decent reflex. So. Mm -hmm. That instantly tells me this guy's a magic caster. He's not going to be wanting to get into melee. He's going to be wanting to do other stuff. So mm -hmm. he's got one spell called Leech Soul. So magical projectile, cost one, range 12, strength five, leech. Right. So that's going to be very, very painful for anyone that hits it with that big strength five. Mm -hmm. He's also got Blood Boy, right? Magic attack, buff one, cost zero, range six, Blood Boy. So if I flip this over very quickly, and hopefully Blood Boy isn't too long a paragraph. <laughs> Uh, at the beginning of this model's activation, you may have this model lose two wounds to gain one magic ability. This model may have no more than five magic ability. So basically, you could burn off his wounds mm -hmm. and actually use that to actually really just fire off a massive Leech Soul. So, actually, what does Leech Soul do as well? Hmm. So, Acidic Fumes. Uh, Mist templates within 12 of this model are Acid templates instead. Models passing through or starting their activations in Acid templates take one damage unmodified by armor. Wow, that really sucks. Mm -hmm. Models cannot mistwalk through these templates. So that's a very important thing because in this faction, they drop mist templates down. Yep. And some of the characters have the ability to teleport between those templates on the table. So it's a very, very fast faction for actually getting around the board. Mm -hmm. uh, he also has dark energy. When Mr. Chang has 14 or more wounds, he gains plus two fight F, S, and R. So when he has 21 wounds plus, he gains plus 5. Okay, there must be a way for this guy to gain wounds. So, uh, ah, Leech Soul, this model gains wounds equal to the wounds lost by the target. So, so he basically, just takes everything from them. So basically, you'll blood boil mm -hmm. to get your magic ability up as high as you can, do as many wounds as you can, and then just start buffing yourself up, gaining more and more wounds. Mm -hmm. And then that just powers him up. So he's kind of like a, a bit of a Hulk character. Yep. And the man himself actually looks really, really good. One, one piece model. Yep. And it's very, very cool. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this little weapon he's carrying around is, but it, it looks cool. It's and a staff of some sort. A staff of some form. Yep. And then he has the nice big long trench coat. This is going to be a really nice one to paint up, I think. Yeah. You know, it looks like he's going to be a lot of fun once you get him down on the tabletop. Next up, <coughs> we have. Hisao Shiria. I'm glad you don't play this faction butchering all the names. I actually have recently played this faction. Yeah? Yeah, uh, they're very, very fun. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, we have another magic caster. He's got a magic ability of four. Uh, actions two, move five, reflex three. So he's an old man. He's not quite so quick to dodge out the way. But uh, his spells are actually really cool. So he's got Mistwalk, which is a, a buffed spell. So he can actually pass that yeah. mist walk out around the faction mm -hmm. and let other models be jumping through those mist templates to really start to play about with where stuff is. Yeah. Uh, he's also got Horrors of the Aether. Aura 2, cost 1, range 6. 
Encroaching Mist uh, is an aura to cost zero, range 12. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's got uh, Mist Maker as well, which allows him to place down a Mist Template. Now, the important thing is, once that Mist Template's down, it's down until either he casts it again and moves it, mm -hmm. or until he dies, at which point it disappears. Right. So in this faction, you really want to target the people with that Mist uh, Maker ability to actually stop them creating the templates and having that big movement on you. Yeah. So uh, Mist Walk does what it says on the tin. You can teleport. Horrors of the Aether. Uh, living models touching Mist Templates within the within range suffer a strength 4 hit each, then the spell expires. Mm -hmm. So it's basically, you could reach out and touch somebody who's near to the Mist Template. Uh, encroaching mist, uh, aura two costs. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, move every mist template within range up to six inches. Okay, now that's nice. That actually lets him actually start to play about wherever mm. everything is on the tabletop. See, he's a he's an enabling sort of character. He's a support character, but yeah. he can enable things to move along. Yeah. So basically, he would give Mister Chang Mist Walker after there's two templates down. Mister Chang suddenly appears from the mist yeah. and actually, you know, starts wrecking house, which mm -hmm. is just a good time and a can. Yep. Uh, his miniature is a little bit more complicated to put together, but I love the fact that he's he's smoking a little bit of a pipe here. A little bit? Yes. It's and a big pipe. Yeah, well, from that, you start to get a little bit of the mist. This is not flash, this is actually mist. No, that's and part it... of his belt. Oh, is it? Yeah. All right, my bad. That's part of his belt. Okay, that's part of his belt. That's the mist. Yeah, from that, you actually start to see this. This big clawed hand coming out of the mist, which, mm -hmm. if you're good with your glow effects, you could make this look absolutely incredible. Really good, yeah. Uh, really handy character, really cool character to play on the tabletop, because yep. I have played him. Next. Next up, we have... Da, 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 da. Let's go with the Oreo. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, not the Oreo that you want to eat. Oh. At least I think that says... Oh, no, it's on Rio. On Rio. On Rio, sorry, not Oreo. Well done. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but forum type names I always butcher. So forgiveness, please. But here the character is. So, uh, two actions, move six, so very quick. Fight four, strength three, guns three, reflex four. Very, very quick character. Very, very nasty. I'm guessing this one is basically your melee fighter. Another one that's going to appear from the mists mm -hmm. and actually jump forward. The problem I'm having here is... I'm only seeing one person who can create a mist template. Yeah. And each character can only create one mist template. So it, it kind of messes you up for actually doing your teleporting shenanigans. Mm. But I am guessing that there will possibly be something else in the box to do it. So this character has steam powered legs. This model may move using the rules for heroic move, provided it passes a reflex two test at the start of each action it wishes to do so. So basically, this character can be doing all those big cinematic jumps and flips across building tops, which mm -hmm. is really, really nice. Uh, we have Vicious Claws with gruesome damage. In melee, gruesome damage. This model deals plus two damage instead of plus one for each critical hit. Mm -hmm. So this is a character that once they get in and actually start doing some crits, it really hurts. Yep. She is essentially the assassin. Yes. Yes. I, I do love this faction because of the oriental flavor they have. Yep. Uh, so the actual miniature itself, is a really nicely dynamically posed one. Uh, you have that classic sort of Chinese style dress, and then you can see here you have the claws on one of the hands. Uh, if I turn it around the correct way, yeah, there you go. So you can see the claws here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another hand that has to go on, which has another set of claws, and then the head is actually separate on this one. And again, you can see it's got sort of a, a dynamic posing to it, as if it's the hair has been caught in the wind. So. It gives a really, really nice feel and flavor of how this character is gonna gonna actually play. I like whenever that can be captured in the sculpt. Is sort of the flavor of how the model should play on the tabletop. Yeah. So I'll put these onto her card. We have three more miniatures to go. Yes, and we do have three cards which are all identical for these little uh, little golden dragons, mm -hmm. which are super cute. Go do you not mean gomelic? Gomelic dragons. Gomelic. Yes, but they are golden dragons. Well, they don't but have to be. Well, they don't have to be, but they're painted that way, or drawn that way on the actual stack card. So I'm calling... These are my little golden dragons. I'm, shut up. I'm just, calling them golden dragons. Just because it's a local takeaway, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, harsh. It is. <laughs> Aha, so... This... These three are actually... Are these your mist makers? These are mist makers. Right. They only cost one coin each, which is great, so they're mm. really cheap. They come with mist walker as well. Mm-hmm. So as soon as one of them gets up, creates a mist template, the other two can mist walk through the first template and, and make actually more. 
jump out and actually get that leap ahead. Mm -hmm. They've also got a little bit of a shot. It has zero strength, but it's range six, and if it's within six, it's plus one. Quick three, and it's got acidic template. So it's going to be dropping acid templates. Mm -hmm. uh, armor of mists, soul sustenance, few acid, which is its ranged weapon, and they have armor three, which mm -hmm. is fantastic, because they only have three hit points. Yeah. So basically, if you decide to knock these little guys down, they are going to be dropping like flies. Yeah. Okay, so... Whoa! Okay, not reading these <laughs> because there is a lot of information on the back. For such a small set of miniatures, they have the most rules. <laughs> so uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go away, we're going to get everybody based and built, and while we're on the break, I'm going to have a read at this card, and then whenever we get back, I'll let you know what they're doing. Okay, everybody, we are back. I have figured out how these little guys work. Now, we have them on their base, so I'm going to show them off first. So, our little golemic dragonlings, these are strange little things because they're golems in a faction in a Starbucks without scientists. Mm -hmm. And as you'll know, John, from having messed about with your inventors, if a golem starts outside of 12 from a scientist, it has to start using its movement to get back into range, right? Yep. So, for these little guys, it's a little different. So, these guys have creatures of the aether. Mm -hmm. They treat uh, Miss templates as friendly scientists with a control range of six. Yeah. Okay, so there's sort of a 12 inch bubble around the Miss template that you can actually run around in. Okay, mm -hmm. so that changes what you're going to be doing because I had hoped that these little guys would be running up forward, being that cannon fodder to let me drop Miss templates to get Mr. Chang and the Onion Rio up the table. Yeah, unfortunately, can, what's can, I, have can, to can we just put these back under again? Yeah, yeah. I, because there's one here I want to point out. Yeah, and is it that one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Look how sassy this one is. He's got a claw on the hip and everything. <laughs> <laughs> He's being super sassy. These things are adorable. Yeah. You see, th this is why I like the guys at Micro Arts, because their sculpts do have a little bit of comedy in them whenever it comes to, you know, the little guys and things like mm, that. There's so much character. Mm. Well, you see, what you want to have a look at is uh, there's one of the characters for the Inventor's Guild. He actually has little toy soldiers and jack-in-the-boxes. And the jack-in-the-box <laughs> actually has a, a little pair of machine guns on it. Oh, awesome. So it acts as a trap, so it pops up and goes... Duh, 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 duh. But uh, it does mean that uh, our main leader, uh, the hero Shirio, mm -hmm. is going to be moving up the table and actually deploying Miss Templates. Now, because there's four of these in the list, you can actually have him dropping more templates mm -hmm. than just the one that he himself. So there can be four Miss Templates in total. Yep. So the way I would do this is he would move up, drop a Miss Template, from that, you then deploy one of these little guys because they don't deploy normally. As yep. soon as there's a mist template down, one of them pops into place. Mm -hmm. Then I would have it activate, move out of its mist template, cast another mist template on top of itself. Then he moves up again, casts his next mist template, gets another one down, mm -hmm. and then you just have this wall of mist rolling up the tabletop. Because yeah. mist templates actually block line of sight whenever you're on the other side of it, and they, do, they give you concealment when you're inside them. Yeah. You know, so you could constantly have this big wall of, you know, you can't shoot me, you can't shoot me, heading up the tabletop towards your opponent. Yeah. You know, and then maybe just keep one down at the back of the board for an objective, so that once you reach the objective, you leave your mist template beside it with a dragon in it, another mist template at the back with a dragon inside it, and then you can have mist walker being passed about and just jumping forward and back and forward and back and yeah. forward and back. You know, so you can really just relay run it. Mm. And then, you know, then you could have Shirio running off to another part of the table still with two mist templates going up the, the streets to actually block him and anyone that's with him. Mm -hmm. So this faction, it's, they're not incredibly powerful. They're not incredibly strong. Yep. You know, but whenever it comes to playing movement shenanigans and actually, you know, blocking line of sight going, oh, you can't do this. Now, Mr. Chang has just strolled casually out of the mist and he is going to suck your soul dry. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a very, very cool idea. Very cool faction. I like the idea of this and I want to get this particular star set down on the tabletop to see yeah, how they play. Definitely. All right, well, guys, I'll tell you what. Drop your comments below. Tell us, have you played the Triad of the Lotus Dragon in Volsung? What do you think of them? I quite like the idea of these. Mm -hmm. We'll move on here. We will see you in the next video. In a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Humanity has been driven from Earth, but now it's time to take it back. Join the Reconquest and fight the Scourge on the Drop Zone Commander Hub at BeastsOfWar.com.